Hey guys, today we're out in the shop on the G0602 and we're going to be talking about a new Mach 3 screen that I've developed for the Altros turret. Now if you recall in the last video we machined a part using the Altros turret and we talked a little bit about how Altros makes tool calls. I have tools 1 through 16 for my quick change tool post and I want to use tool 16. So the way Altros gets around that is because it only has tools positions 1 through 8, we're using Mach 3 tool call, the first number, to set the position. So let's say I have tool 16 in position 4. The tool call would be T0416, turret position 4, and the offsets for tool number 16. As you saw in last week's video, machining that, uh, I didn't have any difficulty setting that up or running the G-code using the original tool change macro. However, because all of my G-code that I've been running for the past few years here are already established, I wanted to be able to run that same G-code and just use the turret now instead of the quick change tool post. So I thought I would develop a Mach 3 screen that would take advantage of allowing me to use the tooling I already have with the tool numbers that I already have for those specific tools. So let's go into the office here. I'll pull up Mach 3, show you the new screen set on the laptop. All right, so here we are in Mach 3 turn. And as you can see, the startup page here has been changed a little bit. I've added the Altros turret graphic. And also I've added a couple of different buttons here to take us to the turret screen and another button here to park the turret in the tool change location so it's out of our way. Now the other buttons here are the same, however I have changed them slightly so let's go through the menu here. The manual screen here as you can see it's changed slightly. I've added the turret and the park button on this uh, screen here as well. Uh, the auto screen we have added the turret button the tool table we've added our park and turret button and the diagnostics tab uh, has remained the same I didn't make any changes on this particular screen so let's go back to the main screen here and we'll go to the turret button so this here is the main change to the Mach 3 turn screen set as you can see, this is a whole new screen specifically for the turret and to set it up. So let's go through the, all the different features that I've added to this particular screen. So up here we have our tool change location. Now this is our current axis position. Uh, this is in program coordinates. And if we click machine coordinates, this will give us our machine coordinates. Now I did this for a couple of reasons. Normally on all my other screens I like to use the machine coordinates for the tool change position. However I noticed with Mach 3 turn and the G0602 uh, that's not always going to work with the G code that I run. So on some of the G code that I run I would like to use the program coordinates for my tool change location uh, because I have different fixtures, different uh, work offsets uh, on some of the parts that I run. So what this does is this allows me to set my tool change location which is this z-axis DRO here and the x-axis DRO here. This allows me to change my tool change location really quickly uh, and I can change it to either the machine coordinates by having this selected. So if I click this button here it's going to change my Z axis and if I well, select X here it's going to change it to X as you can see it's already set for that position however if I switch over to the program coordinates and I want to change will change location to the program coordinates I can just switch to program coordinates and then press this button to set it so X uh, Z axis here should be 10 inches and then the X will be zero. So now when I go to do a tool change, it's going to move to these two locations. 
And again, if I want to make it machine coordinates, I can change it over and select for machine coordinates. Now what this does is at the beginning of the tool change, it's going to go out and get this information that's in these DROs here. It's going to move the turret to that position and do a tool change before it starts running your G-code again. Altros recommended with their particular tool change macro that you edit your G-code in order to move the turret clear so that it can rotate. However, I thought it would be easier to integrate that into a tool change macro. And so I've designed this screen to work in conjunction with a new tool change macro to uh, do this automatically. Down here we have our turret degrees. So position one would be zero degrees. Turret position two would be 45 degrees. Turret position three I would be 90 degrees, so on and so forth. Right here is our old tool. This is the tool that we're currently at. So in this particular graphic here, we're at position one. And then over here, we have one through eight. This is to manually rotate to that particular position. So if we press two, we're going to manually rotate to position two. If we press three, we'll rotate to three, so on and so forth. Let me see if we have this. I don't, I'm trying to simulate these inputs here, so it's a little bit uh, difficult. Let's see if we can get it to change here. All right, so I press two and you could see that at position one, we should have input four because it's an odd number. Every odd position, we should have this input. And then the macro goes and looks, checks for that to make sure that we're in that position or in an odd position and cycles output six, which rotates it. And then we should lose our input four when we get to our next position. The turret checks to make sure that this occurs and then it knows that it did in fact make a full rotation. So you can see our turret degree now is 45 degrees for position two. Down here again, we have our input four. This is needed for our turret operation and our output six. These are just a couple of LEDs to let you know uh, that these things are happening uh, on the screen here and you can see it. Uh, I did put a manual data input line here so you can uh, do manual tool changes or move your axes or whatever you need to do manually. And then over here is our turret graphic. Now what's unique about this screen and the tool change macro is you can just simply put in any tool number in any position and the macro will rotate to that position according to whatever the tool number you call. So as with the Altros turret, you're limited to tool numbers one through eight with the offset of whatever tool number you're using. So if I was using tool number 16, in position four with the Altros macro and original screen set, I would need to use tool call T0416. However, with the new updated screen, if you're using uh, tool number 16, you simply type in 16 at position four here, and the tool change macro will do all the calculations for you, and you don't have to change your G code. You can still use T1616 for tool 16, offsets of 16. Uh, down here, we've added a park button. So this just will simply move the turret to that position so it's clear of your work and you can do some setup or whatever you need to do. Or if you want to manually rotate your turret and get it out of the way, you just push the park button. It'll take it to the tool change location that you have set up here. And you can manually rotate by depressing the button on the solenoid. So that's pretty much all of the Altros turret Mach 3 screen set, but I think you can see that it's going to be uh, beneficial by not having to go back and change all of my G code. It's already been proven and I've been running that G code for years. I didn't want to have to go back and edit all of that G code. So this allowed me to uh, just use the same G code that I've been using for years. Now, a couple of other features that are built into the tool change macro that are not uh, that I haven't really covered yet are the fact that 
you don't necessarily have to position the turret on position one when you start up. The new Mach 3 screen set and macro works in conjunction and it remembers the old tool location here. And so if you're still on position two, all you have to do is look at it, see what position your turret is currently rotated to, make sure that it matches this information here. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to start out on position one every time like you do with the original screen and Mac. In the last video where we did the tool block setup, I had a gentleman fly pick comment and he brought up a, a very good point that I wanted to talk about in today's video. You can use those tool blocks with say three different positions along the center line with the furthest position from the center of the turret as say a center drill and then you could come back in if you're turning small parts and you could put a drill or some other tool in towards the center. This would allow you to use uh, multiple tools in that one tool block. I thought that was a very good point. I didn't think about that. I guess it would depend on the size of the parts you're using and whether or not uh, you could keep the other tools clear while you're turning. Uh, but definitely something to think about for say a center drill and then maybe a reamer or a drill bit. You could definitely do that by using the offsets for those tools. So I thought that was a, uh, a very good point and I wanted to uh, point that out. Thanks Flypick for uh, posting that comment. I think that'll be beneficial to everyone. Well, all right guys, I guess that'll wrap up this video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you like the video content, click on that subscribe button down below. That way when I post a new video, they'll send you a link if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.